So I had a bit of a problem with my DX9 Black Edition that I purchased second hand a few months back. Um, everything was running fine until I discovered that the switch here wasn't working. So what I decided to do, didn't know anything at the time, still don't know a lot, but thought I'd just order a couple of these guys. Matched the model numbers, went to eBay, found a guy selling them over in Great Britain, five bucks a piece. Replaced those, resoldered the connections, switch still didn't work. Replaced the ribbon cable, that didn't work. So I sort of gave up, looked up the main board, thought it could have been that, that's way too pricey and I couldn't actually find any in stock anyways. So I sort of retired to the thought that, you know what? Two, two of the positions worked out of the three button switch. Replaced the switch, resold it, that didn't work. Basically exhausted everything, nothing worked. So I thought, you know what? I can deal with the two button switch. Just recently been gaining knowledge and things and through soldering and making my own cables, um, I purchased a multimeter, just a cheap one and I just decided to test for congenuity. So I just went over to the other side, just come over like this, traced it, traced it all back, sort of figured out where it was going, like this, trying to diagnose where the connection is. Uh, which one is it? That one there, that one there, and then I was just sort of tapping around, finding out where there, where it's going to be going. So that one's in there. And then I did the same with the other side. And upon opening it in closer investigation, there was this break in the circuit here, just down in here. I'm not sure if you can see it. So I tried some trace pen. That didn't work as a repair. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to hardwire it. So I did the same, went all through there, and figured, figured out that it wasn't coming down here at all around here. So none of that worked. But now, diagnosing it with a multimeter for continuity, this now works down here. Previously didn't. So I put it all back together, plugged it all in, and now the three button switch works fine. So anyone with any of those sort of problems, it's quite simple, get a multimeter, check for continuity and yeah, that was just a simple solder. So say sending it off to model flight or spectrum or any of that sort of jazz and, and all that and yeah, now everything works and super happy, hope that helps.